On the top rate EVN concept hierarchy, clicking a plus sign next to a concept shows you the children of that concept, and clicking a minus sign hides a concept's children. Clicking on a concept name shows you the properties for that concept on the concept form. The Quick Search field is a fast way to go right to a concept by typing the first few letters of its name. Names that begin with those letters will appear on a pop-up list and you can then click one with your mouse to go right to it. The collapsible search form lets you do more sophisticated searches. If your vocabulary defines specialized concept types, setting the search form to search one will add any specialized properties for that concept type to the search form, like the altitude and area properties shown here. Enter search criteria in the fields shown and select checkboxes for the properties you want retrieved as part of your search. When TopRate EVN is displaying data about a particular concept, if your user ID has been assigned a manager or editor role, you can click the Edit button underneath the data to edit that concept's properties. In Display Mode, EVN only shows properties that have values for that concept, but in Edit Mode, a wide range of SCOS properties is available for you to edit. If someone has customized this vocabulary to include custom properties, they will show up as well. To edit an existing value, simply click in its field and enter the new value. To add a value for a property that didn't have one, enter it into the blank field for that value. When you click the Save button, EVN will check whether your edits have broken any of the rules for this vocabulary. In this case, the concept has the same value for its preferred and alternative labels, which violates one of the constraints defined as part of the W3C SCOS standard. You can turn these rules off if you like, and you can also add your own custom rules. You can add additional values for a property by clicking the black plus sign next to the property name. Values can have language tags assigned, and it's easy to customize the list in the drop-down list of language choices. If a property has values from different languages assigned, EVN will display them according to the preference settings for your browser. EVN also includes full support for Unicode. Properties that define relationships between one concept and another are known as relationship properties. EVN's typeAhead function helps ensure that you enter the name of another existing concept. When you save the edits that you've made to a particular concept, relationship property values become hypertext links. To delete a property value, click the X to the right of it. The Show History checkbox toggles the display of information about who made which edits when. For this session, I've been logged in as the administrator. Changes can be reverted with a mouse click. You can edit multiple concepts at once by using the search form to create a list of the concepts that you want to edit at once, and then picking Batch Edit Search Results from the search menu.
Add a new concept by selecting its parent node and clicking the Create Concept button. A dialog box will ask you its name and whether it should be a regular concept or part of a custom concept type. And then EVN will put you into edit mode for your new concept. To create a new concept scheme or collection of concepts, click the button next to the Create Concept button. You can add multiple concepts at once by selecting Create Multiple Concepts from the Action menu at the bottom of your screen. The same menu includes a choice that lets you delete the currently selected node or concept tree. We saw earlier that the Show History checkbox lets you see the history of edits to a particular concept. From a Production or Working Copies Management screen, the View Change History report lets you see a list of all changes made to that production or working copy, narrowed down by creator, date range, or status if you like. In this video, we learned how to find concepts by navigating TopRate EVN's concept hierarchy, by using the quick search field, and by using the flexible search form. We saw how, when editing a concept, we can revise, add, and delete property values in multiple languages. We learned how to add and delete concepts and concept schemes, and we saw two ways to find out who made what changes when. Watch for more videos about Top Braid Enterprise Vocabulary Net and let us know whether you'd like us to set up your own remote demo installation of EVN by contacting us at evn underscore demo at topquadrant.com. We'd be happy to talk about how EVN or any of our products can help you turn your vocabularies and other structured and unstructured information assets into a semantic ecosystem, the next step in data evolution.